Good time, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen side of my room. <laughs> okay, so today, guys, I'm gonna be doing a little vlog esque something. I don't have my ring light on at the moment, so I look a bit not loving it, not loving it. But um, I'm gonna be showing you how to live on a budget, how to feed on a budget. Because recently, what's really been bugging me. Actually, let me set this up on my tripod one sec. Oh, welcome guys, welcome to my show. <laughs> okay, um, anyway, so like I said guys, I'm gonna be teaching you how to live, like eat well on a budget. And like I said to you guys before, um, I actually live on like 300 pounds. Before I was actually less than that, at the during like before corona it was actually like 200 pounds that people got on universal credit um but then it went up during corona time to 340 something pounds but even me during that time i didn't have that whole money because i was paying off my debts so this is basically how you live on like less than 200 pounds a month and eat well um so yeah let's get cracking so I'm gonna go through my pantry with you guys. These are all of like staple foods and things that are just so useful to have in your house, um, just so that you can always make a meal out of something. And I think like I said in the earlier part of this recording, before I got my tripod out, um, fast food is something that really stresses me out i think now having kane as well and me realizing i'm the fat controller in his life and if i don't give him food then he's literally helpless um it's kind of made me realize the problem of food security in this country it's something that really scares me um we saw it at the beginning of corona when asda's tesco all of that um we're being basically almost looted everyone's snatching all the food it's not it's not a good look and um, those are the main places that we get our food from and if not there if not that's where we get our raw foods from we order a lot of food out from uh delivery companies and you know their partners and whatever else and to me dangerous that's super dangerous if you there's actually a saying i think it's um if you can't control what goes in your mouth, then you, you have no control at all. And it's so true, you really don't. Part of me, it doesn't really like this light anymore because it's making me look a bit ashy. Let me just try change it. So the orange light. I think the orange light looks better in this scenario um, because my windows are open behind and I look less ashy, yeah. Right, so let me get on to my pantry. Pastas must have i like conchicelli it just is cute i like putting my tongue in it it's like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's nice uh so we've got conchicelli i always buy two or three packs of pasta pasta is fuck cheap it's like 59p buy three packs if you must and pasta is very easy to cook and quick this is just an old pasta packet but i only bought two this time oh all of my my things are gonna fall down oh these are actually things that i took from my mum. so these maggie cubes and this is actually crayfish in here dried crayfish from nigeria Oof, mate it just tastes makes food taste so lovely girl you're having a fish dish and you just put this in a seasoning oh wow amazing i'll go through all my seasonings as well at the top but that was just randomly there in my pantry section so i'm not impressed um Indomie instant noodles, always grab a pack of instant noodles or two. This was a five pack when I bought it like a month ago. But these are the Arab kind and they don't taste the same. So I, that's why I haven't eaten them off. Anyway. And I always buy baked potatoes because I love a fucking baked potato. Gil. With some tuna and prawn mayo. And cheese and salad <laughs> and veg. Oh my god, that meal probably costs like less than one pound fifty, and it's just so fucking delicious. And that one pound fifty as well stretches to like it's like probably like two three meals you can get out of what I was just describing. So always get potatoes, baking potatoes. If you get the packet, sometimes I get loose depending on how I feel. 
about life and if I feel potato-y but I do love a good motherfucking potato this week I got a packet instead of loose ones because um I could use them with, for other stuff as well plus I actually have potatoes in my fridge I don't know why I put them in my fridge now they're big potatoes they're they're fine in the fridge anyway so those are some staples also I do complain about fast food but I do eat out um sometimes <laughs> so ooh. So if I don't use any of these condiments, I keep them because during the month, there's nothing worse, yeah, than being low-ish on food, low on variety, and you're having like, I don't know, I had a sausage sandwich like a week ago before I got my UC, because Kane was here, so I was feeding him sausage, I also had a sausage sandwich, and it was missing ketchup, and I don't buy ketchup because I don't really eat ketchup in my house like that, and ketchup... A monovi is an expensive item when you only got literally about sixty pounds to spend on food a month, girl. So I collect these. I don't collect them, but I save them. Um, these are my blender lids, but my blender things over there. Anywho, so oh yeah, and onions as well. Onions last forever. I got these like a month ago. Oh yeah, and tomato puree. I would always advise, especially if you're from a country that actually all countries use tomato in stuff like stews, like sauces for your pasta as well. Always get tomato puree and some tin tomatoes or passata, and they're all really really cheap, like less than fifty p most of the time, and it will help you make a decent meal. Um. Now I'm doing all that. Right, that's that. I wish I, I need to make more, you know, shelf. Uh -uh. But anyway, I always get eggs as well. Last month I went a bit egg crazy. I only have one egg left. Uh, so I need to eat that and buy some more eggs. Because eggs are so useful. You can make stuff like pancakes out of eggs. You can make eggs, plantain and egg. You can make all kinds of stuff with egg you can have an egg sandwich egg sandwich is a real let's get up and get going kind of food so you got all of that as well and then up here i've got like my grains and stuff so one of my friends actually got me this coconut flour there's that make pancakes like that it's also just regular flour i like to make um like fritters and dumplings and stuff like that um which are super easy to make and like if you have like a bit of meat and you make like a dumpling to go with it and you have a bit of gravy it's nice like a bit of sauce cut up some onions some tomatoes a bit of pepper put some seasoning in that with like i don't know like salt like you can use that like, tuna or you can use sardines and then have that with dumpling delicious fucking delicious you'll be thanking me later um, I got long grain brown rice. I've had this for like three months, haven't touched it. I need to start eating this because I'm getting fat. I'm getting fat, you know. I feel like watching my YouTubes as well, my weight, as I said, my weight fluctuates is because I've got a lot of stresses. <laughs> and um, I've got issues with my thyroid as well, so my weight fluctuates a lot sometimes but i can see it in my cheeks sometimes like oh your cheeks are getting bigger they're smaller bigger smaller but usually i see it most in my belly but you guys can't see that right now so um i've got some basmati rice i wouldn't ever you know what i wouldn't ever recommend buying basmati rice from aldi lidl it always breaks like even when you wash it it starts breaking left right and right i'm just thinking oh. But if you're on the benefits Britain budget, you might want to just stop off the local hours or little girl. But so Tesco's and Sainsbury's, they also do cheap rice and staple foods and whatever. You can still do a cheap shop in Tesco's, Asda and Sainsbury's. But I just find that little things like that, unimportant items, like Lidl and Aldi, unimportant items, they're, they're a lot cheaper. So it kind of, and there's more stuff that are like pence, pence. Whereas in Tesco's, Asda's and Sainsbury's, it's more pound, pound. I don't have those pants, but I got some pants, girl. So I, and plus, 
uh, Lidl and Aldi are actually closer to me. They're all on, like, basically on my road. There's one down there. But the fucking Lidl's been closed for ages. Fucking cunts. Uh, but they actually did need a renovation because the way things were just stacked in, there was war on the brain, war on the brain. Anyway, um, yeah, and then there's an Aldi local in Kilburn that I go to. That's my one. Anyway, it's always important to have munchies in your house just in case. It saves you from getting the, getting the munchies and then ordering something bad. Ordering something you can't afford to kill. So I've got Jaffa cakes and I've got chocolate crunch cookies. It's always important to have kitchen foil in your house, by the way. Always, always, for everything and anything. You can fix things with kitchen foil. Um, and this is 30 metres long. You, you get that from Asda. You don't get that from Tesco's and Asda's. Here. Anyway... Um, oh yeah. Now onto my tins, my tinned goods. I got tin tuna. I had to get this in brine. I don't eat it in brine. I eat it in salt and spring water, but we'll have to try brine today. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry guys, I just had to quickly stop it just to make sure that I had enough um, storage and stuff because sometimes I'll stop recording midway. Also, <laughs> Another thing I wanted to address was my outfit choice. Actually, why should I address my outfit choice? Basically, yesterday I was wearing this. Let me go get it. was literally wearing this exact same outfit but with silly sunglasses and <laughs> an even funnier uh, leopard print jacket yeah and I was just like the leopard lady I even have a leopard print face mask yeah and I was just like I was just happy like I was just happy just looking like this but I had a zoom meeting as well and everyone was commenting on my bloody hat and I was like guys come on now come on now sons i'm just trying to express myself i just feel you know quirky and happy y'all <sighs> anyway let me take off this hat get back to my bonnet and that what should i do i like my hat no Ugh, yes it was just too many prints yesterday but i love i love risky outfits because they just look i don't know expressive that's what fashion is about anyway back to what i was talking about so yeah tuna and brine um i use this to make tuna mayo with prawns i always add prawns but i'm gonna go through my freezer in a second and then you'll see what the prawns look like um add prawns to be fair should i have some tuna today i don't know i was thinking but I'm basically, I'm doing quite a few videos today. One of them is just going through my food and one of them is preparing like my food for the month, basically. Um, and then, oh, actually, Sainsbury's do these nifty mini packs of uh, tuna. I don't like all that packaging. Do you know it's so weird? I have so many cans, but I don't have a can opener. I open all my cans with scissors. I'm like a man. Um, these mini cans of tuna and these are in spring water so I might have this for lunch um, I just mix it up with like mayo black pepper uh, yellow pepper sauce because I do not like red pepper hot sauce that's horrible uh, the more time it has too much way too much vinegar in it Oof, no. um, and yeah and the prawns and onions and just have that in pasta have it in on a potato have it in a sandwich just delish uh right so then we have tin tomatoes you could do anything with tin tomatoes you can make a curry from this um if you have peppers uh and onions and curry powder but <laughs> you can make sauces you can even make stew if you want i forgot the right ingredients but i'll show you how to have, always have the right ingredients guys anyway also coconut milk coconut milk is really lovely just to have for curries as well rice if you're feeling like oh i don't really want plain rice you can have coconut you can have coconut rice <laughs> something um also always have laxatives guys um 
sometimes I will find these are actually prescription though. Um, some I hate the way they taste as well, but I'll I'll Dan two packets, mate. I will. Um, but sometimes, especially, you know, sometimes being on bends, yeah. You really can go through the motions of moods and stuff like that. Sometimes I'll be like more depressed at certain times than other times. And with that depression, I won't eat or I'll be eating certain things that really clog me up or whatever. So I always have laxatives on deck. Trust me, laxatives are important to have. Plus, if anyone pisses me off, I'll fucking get a spike, bro. Anyway. Then I have just Golden Oats Instant Oats. And these are so cheap from Aldi as well. Oh, delicious. They're like 99p, 75p, 79p, something like that. Right. So that's me pantry. Those are my long life goods. Oh, yeah. Also, I love to get these baguettes. Usually I get the mini ones. The big at-home baguettes. They are really nice, especially when you want something that just feels like fresh and... Ooh, nice that oh fresh bread it makes you feel good fresh bread and butter especially if you're down to like your last foods and it's like soup that you have or like you want to make like a sandwich if the bread is fresh it just feels good girl you feel like hm, i'm not poor i'm rich bitch that's how you feel and then i've got these old ass plantains that i need to throw out but guys let me tell you yeah initially i was happy and i really want to support the small stores but more time when you buy stuff from small stores because most people don't go to them most of their fruit and veg is literally about to go off and it's horrible because i literally bought these only like a couple days ago and they're off already oh. anyway god forgive me for wasting that food also i don't let me go through my um vitamins as well with everyone because uh, my mum actually plugs me with vitamins, pharmacy of mum, and partially dad as well. Uh, and they provide me with my my medication, some of my medication. Oh. Right. <coughs> oh, one of my mayors is falling down. Don't do that. Right. So I've got perfect deal for hair, well woman, got those. Um, oh yeah, I didn't even tell you. I've got evaporate milk. I use evaporate milk for my teas and stuff like that because it's just so tasty. I also use it for my oats mixed in with a bit of water so it's not too full. But it makes it taste nicer, I think. But it's not very healthy, it's not, it's not. Got my vitamin C, got my cranberry. Can you just see what they say? Cranberry, vitamin C, you. This one's for boots. And this has zinc in it as well. I've also got a live. This from my dad. I've got this collagen, gold collagen from my mom. I've got thank you skinny pills, which I haven't been taking, but I need to start taking them again because they actually did make me lose a bit of weight. Like, and they expire soon, so I need to use them. Um, and I've got my multivitamins from Tesco with iron. I've got my multivitamins from Tesco with cod liver oil. Um, I've got beauty bubbles, There's another collagen thing that my mum gave me. She must think I look old or something. <coughs> and then these tinctures as well that my friend gave me. There's turmeric here and there's gentian, which turmeric is good. Ooh. Turmeric is good for ooh, chill. Turmeric is good for joints, especially now that I do a lot of like, walking and I'm trying to get into running and stuff. Like I'm doing a running club, guys, a virtual running club. Can you believe it? <laughs> hey, the fact nice you. Right. Through my fridge with you. This is oh, should I just take the t the film? Right, one sec. Ooh. That camera's not clean. Sorry. Right. So this is my fridge. I always have lemons, grapefruit, ginger, limes uh, in here just to like kickstart my morning. Sometimes it's nice to have that instead of having a smoke or. <laughs> 
or something else i've got avocados here i also have other so basically when i go to the smaller shops like the smaller fruit and veg shops to buy fruit and veg i know that obviously the food goes off quicker so um i also pre-freeze some of this stuff that you'll, you'll you'll see in my freezer in a sec anyway i've got that's one garlic bread in there <laughs> i got meats so the meats i usually get for the month today and this month i actually switched up a bit um lean steak beef i've got chicken fill breast fillets which i usually don't get and chicken wings which i do also always get because chicken wings are so cheap they're one pound fifty and literally if you like pre-season them <laughs> if you pre-season them and um what's the word pre-season them and store them in the freezer you can literally take them out anytime they last forever because people don't eat chicken i don't eat chicken wings every day girl. i always got olives in there see real mayo this is sea moss i need to drink this has it gone off i doubt it i don't think so it wouldn't go off would it let me just check seamless is you can't really tell if it's gone off or not because it just smells rank you i've got jerk season i need to buy more of this actually i don't have enough left jerk seasoning lemon juice always uh mustard because i love the mustard from ikea i bought that before ikea closed uh sauce i'm not really a saucy person but my friend bought this sauce i always have hot sauce though and mustard um and chili oil because i like that uh, and then some juices and stuff but usually i don't really drink juices at all so <laughs> if you come to my house after this do you know don't expect juice because i don't have it <laughs> and then i've got my tupperwares which are essential for preserving food and just making sure you don't waste so i've got my basic tupperware here from then i've got just my big big fuck offs for if i season loads of meat or something and like if sometimes i get a whole chicken and then just cut it into two halves and season it and just put one of the halves in here and uh, put one of the halves in the freezer because i'll eat a uh, fridge because i'll eat it straight well not straight away but I'll eat it in the week anyway let me go through my seasons of you so i've got a table salt here browning as always for the chicken gill chicken seasoning we've got curry pears again raja gill it has to be hot caribbean you we love it we've got <laughs> black peppercorns we've got all purpose seasoning i got this from aldi and i broke the lid but it's been useful when i had no seasonings at home one time uh ginger garlic pimento uh this is no stock cubes like i said and the crayfish in the oh, it smells so good i can smell it now i uh, got maggie cubes uh my friend got this one time some delicious foreign Thai seasoning mix but actually to be fair i made chicken wings out of was it charcoal barbecue is that why there's none left oh you can't but i made some out of this charcoal barbecue section it was delish but i can't lie mashed garlic and chili i might have to try that uh sugar up here apple cider vinegar usually i use most of this for my hair if i'm being honest but sometimes if i wake up and i'm feeling like oh i need to be fit and healthy I'll have that with some water and it's actually good for bloating so hot water and stuff um now i've got coffee i love me a good coffee co-op coffee because co-ops me me unfortunate local uh gravy granules pink tea my friend got that for me as well i don't know how i've never tried it yet and just bare green teas because i love green tea uh sainsbury's actually oh actually to be fair aldi and thing do really good cheap green teas but i already had these two packs of 80 bags here and yeah that's that now let me go to my freezer so my freezer is probably my most important part of my house this is where all the long life food stays so these are the prawns that i use for like my prawn pasta or uh, prawn pasta like my tuna pasta and stuff i always put grated cheese in the freezer because you can use it for time 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 cheese is one of those things that if you buy grated cheese yeah um 
more time it's gonna go off quicker so you can actually just put it in the freezer plus you don't have to grate it it's pre-grated just pour it on top of whatever you're putting it on top of and heat it a bit a bit of ice in here and just it out oh see look i've got another pack of grated cheese in there but i had to re-up in it right so oh yeah i had some more oh, wow did i not eat this month or something forking hell so I cut up stuff like tomatoes and avocado like this for a reason. So um, I do a lot of like smoothies and stuff and it's good to have things like avocado, broccoli, all kinds of veg inside of your smoothies. So I just think that um, I just freeze stuff and then just shove it in the blender because it's just easy. And that's the same for my fruits as well. Like these are all frozen some of them are bought fresh some of them are bought frozen but i just bang them all into one and freeze that shit and put it in my smoothies because i don't really eat fruits any other way or oh, sorry really i'm sorry what I, let me just put it back on the tripod sorry guys i'm back <laughs> um i was faffing around there so much but like i said my fruits i always freeze them again you can put them in oats when you're microwaving up your oats put them in your oats put them in smoothies it's just ways to help you get fresh fruit and veg when you're on a budget said so these are like i said these are pimento peppers they're not actually scotch bonnet oh, they smell so nice um but i freeze those as well the same way i would freeze scotch bonnet because it just lasts longer you're not going to use all the, the peppers in one are you again this is another frozen seasoning this is my green seasoning which has been frozen it smells so good oh, fuck. i actually need to take that out and defrost it a bit so i can cut it up because i made some i put some in like um ice cube holders for my mum, and i made little cubes like them but idio oh me <laughs> didn't do it for myself anyway I don't know my frozen might need a defrost soon. Um, let's pop everything back where it goes. Uh, 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 and I do actually have like another. This is from Aldi. Uh, middle i think and it's the four berry medley frozen for freshness and this is like a pound or like a pound 50 or maybe two pounds cheap though and i've had this for like two months and then i just refill my bucket with it with fresh fruits and half of this and trust me it's it's just so cheap you can go to like the smaller people shops when you buy like berries and stuff actually i had a really bad experience the other day when i bought strawberries from the shop and they literally gave me that like, i was so itchy like even now i don't know if you can see like i'm getting goosebumps like just by thinking about it it's disgusting Ugh. it's just and that even worries me in itself like as human beings because of how much gm has gone on because of how much our food goes through certain routes and that's all most people have ever known we don't know when fruit looks normal and when it doesn't look normal like these strawberries they did not look normal to me but they it could have just been that i had to even google like wild strawberries and stuff like oh fucking making me itch bro like i've got i think most people have got trypophobia what is it try to try oh, fuck that had me i'm itching now oh god i don't even want to think about it. i'm talking about it still you but it fucked me like some of them look so fucked i was even gonna take a picture i was like nah that's proper oh nah <sighs> Ooh. right what the fuck oh frozen veg i never used to eat frozen veg but now frozen veg is my life this kale actually i freeze this so that i could just pop it again this is another thing just pops straight into my smoothie 
I like kale in my smoothie, but having it in the fridge, I'm just looking at it, it's looking at me. Who's gonna eat ya? So I mean, just shove it in the freezer. And I've got, I need to buy more of these actually. What are these? Broccoli, block, bro 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 broccoli florets and cauliflower florets. And I always have some of this with every big meal that I have because it's good to have a balanced, balanced diet and that. Right, so these basically are, I've got a blender. So like I said, sometimes when I buy fresh, you need to process it, well not process it, but process it straight away, just so that it doesn't go off. Everything that's in here is like peppers, you'll probably even see it, like peppers, tomato, onion, um, other peppers and this is just a perfect base for any kind of stewish meal you want to make like a curry or stew or anything really like anything that has like a soupy base you can even make a soup out of this so i just pre-freeze them when i get everything in i just pre-freeze what i can freeze or process what i can process that i know i'm not going to eat um straight straight away and do that <laughs> I've got three bags, three big bags of that. And with that, you could just take it out a day before you decide to cook something and then it's defrosted. Or really, you could just, I wouldn't potentially, I wouldn't really cut around the thing because it's frozen, but you know. Put it in hot water. Um, I've also got some frozen fish in here. Um, this stuff I've had since Christmas. I can't lie, I haven't eaten it. Um, but it's always useful to have. I won't ever run out of food. I know that I've got frozen fish fillets in me, uh, in me freezer. But I'm the type of person, I hate fish skin. I can't, you know. That's why I have to take cod liver oil because I cannot. I cannot. And then I've got aloe vera in here that I've picked up. If I feel like, you know, I want to do a beauty treatment or something. And this is an aloe vera grew myself. Oh. I was like, who's that? Just my running group chat. So basically that is my fridge and my fridge is gonna last like me for the whole month it is what's today's date i think it's like 10th or something someday and i will take my fridge for the next month and i'll always have food and also i like to buy these packet um salads because you can also put them in your smoothie <laughs> It'd be um and yeah that's it really that's all in it that's it and you just live a happy life. If you've got a blender, I think key things to really have, yeah, are a blender. And that's it. I've got loads of weird things in here that I took from my mum's house recently when we made up. <laughs> uh, like uh, George Foreman grill, uh, a steamer, fun things basically. Anyway. That is me done for right now. Um, I'm probably going to come back and show you how I'm preparing my meats. <laughs> like seriously, I don't even like any of the footage that I've done. I feel like I feel like shit. I look like shit. I feel like I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. I feel like, you know, the pressure I'm putting my, on myself for my YouTube career is just, you know, it's getting a lot now. It's getting a lot. I'll get about one or two messages every 10 days. It's hard. It's hard for me to cope. It is.